like two and a half years. We're in New York, baby. I grew up literally right down the street. He refuses to put on his jacket. It's not. <laughs> so much trash on the street. Good morning guys and welcome to New York. It is Saturday and we have three full days here. So we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday and we leave Tuesday morning. We're staying at the Fredericks Hotel and it's super cute. They have this cool map in the shower of Manhattan and we're like somewhere down here. We're in Tribeca. It's the only hotel that I could find that wasn't like crazy expensive and it's actually really cute. I love the details and we have this nice really tall frosted window. We actually have a full length mirror here. I'm just wearing a long sleeve and then this jacket from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if this is going to be warm enough. I have no idea. And then these trousers from Newly. And then I'm going to wear my Nike sneakers because I just want to be comfortable. We're going to be walking a lot. That's the plan. Cute hotel room. And then we have a really cute view of some buildings super cute i don't know why they put words on this mirror like we can't even use it but we're gonna go to a coffee shop and then we have tickets to see the summit which is like a high-rise thing where you can see the whole city at 11 30 so let's get the day started okay and i'm also gonna put on this scarf in case i get cold we went to this place, Hungry Ghost Coffee, that was near our hotel, and that's kind of the strategy we employed the entire trip, with the exception of a few places. We just went wherever was closest and had decent reviews. It's so cold. So cold. That's the one, two, three. Then we took our first subway ride to Midtown, and coming from Florida, this was a cool experience because we don't have anything like this. We don't even have basements, so to be underground and traveling on a train is really cool to me. The next stop is 7th Second Street. I just tripped on the stairs from the subway and spilled my coffee all over me, so good start. We're in Times Square. Well, almost. We arrived near Times Square and I saw Carlos Bake Shop, which was really cool because I used to be really obsessed with Cake Boss. And then we took a look around Times Square during the day because I know it gets really busy at night. And these characters wanted to take pictures with AJ. They were like obsessed with him or something. It was hilarious. You don't want to talk to her? Okay. My face is frozen. <laughs> I, don't know what it, I don't know what it is, like, what it is but I kind of like it. Then we went to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and that was actually really cool. We kind of sped through it because we had tickets to be somewhere else in like 30 minutes, but it was cool. Definitely recommend. It was a little bit pricey. I think it was about $100 to walk through the whole museum, but they do have drinks and a little gift shop in there. You could easily spend an hour, an hour and a half going through this wax museum. We went through it so fast that we actually had some more time to kill. So we ended up walking to Bryant Park and they had this really nice winter wonderland going on. There was ice skating and little shops that you could buy trinkets and Christmas tree ornaments from. They had a bunch of food stands. We ended up getting some pork buns and some dumplings just as a little snack. And it was really cute. I would say this was my favorite Christmassy experience that we had during the entire trip. Then it was time to go to Summit Vander built. It's basically like a huge room of glass and mirror and it was really cool. You could definitely get some cool pictures here and you could see the entire city which was absolutely stunning and I'm sure if you come at sunset it's even more beautiful. It's a really great way to kind of take in the entire city and just take a beat, take some pictures and really appreciate New York for what it is. Then you walk through and there's this room with a bunch of silver floating balls that you can play around with. I think this would be really cool for kids it was pretty close to Grand Central Station, so we walked through that just to see what it's about. Then we stopped at Smashburger because we were craving something really good, and we've never had it before. I thought it was okay. I personally loved the Brussels sprouts. They were like the highlight of the show for me. Then we stopped at this place, ST Kilda, for coffee, and I got a mocha latte, and it was pretty good. Okay guys, it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock. We just had this coffee. 
It's really good. I got a mocha and now we are going back down south. I think we're gonna go to the World Trade Center. We kind of blew through everything today. We got like so much done. 10,000 steps already. See if we can get to 20K today. But yeah, I feel like we kind of sped through so we're kind of trying to slow down. We do have three full days here. So yeah, babe. So this spaceship looking building is actually a mall. If you go inside of it, there's a bunch of stores underground and I personally was not expecting that, but it was really cool. And it's right next to the 9-11 Memorial, which is beautiful. Okay, so we're here, but I think you need tickets. So we're gonna buy tickets for tomorrow. My cheeks are frozen. Look at this thing. Babe, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it said that it was raining Monday. It is almost six o'clock and we're gonna go to dinner. We just kind of took a nap in the hotel for the last couple of hours. So tonight's outfit is this sweater dress from Urban that I got in my newly order with my big Lulu's teddy coat. And then I'm wearing these Amazon stockings and I forget where these are from. And I'm gonna be freezing, but it's okay because we're taking the subway and we have, we're gonna go to this like pizza place. The name of the place, Joe's on Bleecker Street is where we're going. John's. John's, John's sorry. John's of, John's of Bleecker Street. It's like this super popular pizza place. I wanna get like an authentic Italian pizza because the one that we got last night was like. Authentic New York. Authentic, authentic New York slice. That's what I want. This is the line for Joe's Pizza. We didn't feel like waiting in line for hours for John's of Bleecker Street, so we went right across the street to this place called Little Charlie, and it was the cutest little pizza shop that I've ever seen. The guy was making pizza right next to me, and they had really pretty candles. We started off with some meatballs, which were amazing, and then we just got a margarita pizza with pepperoni, and it was awesome. It was a cute little place, highly recommend. Okay, back in the room. We went to the hotel bar to have a drink after dinner, which was nice. I know I'm really tired. I didn't sleep well last night because just never sleep well on the first night in a new place. So gonna go to bed early. Today was really jam-packed and tomorrow we're planning on going to Central Park. So let's see, it's supposed to rain though. So I'm not sure. Good night. I wanna show you guys my new favorite glasses from Pear Eyewear and I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. It's the coolest concept, you guys. So basically they have base frames. I got the clear in the Kirby style. I just love the way this suits my face. And the coolest thing is that they make top frames. So I have four of them here and you just snap them on and just like that you change the style of your glasses and i personally think that this is the coolest thing ever i'm so excited so i have these really cute light purple ones purple is my favorite color and i also have these more traditional looking ones i have green just for like a little pop of color when i want to be a little bit quirky and cool and the coolest thing in my opinion is that they have sunglass top frames so with one base frame you can have so many different styles and you don't have to have like hundreds of glasses laying around the house and they store really nicely and on their website they have a virtual try on so it makes it really easy to find what style you like that's what i use to find the base frame just to see how it looks on my face they have styles for men women and kids and they have a 30-day return policy no questions asked they have over 650 unique top frames so you'll never get bored i got the blue light glasses because i don't actually need prescriptions but they also have prescriptions for a really low cost and as you see, they have sun tops. I could even stack these multiple times if I wanted to. Like if I wanted the sunglass with the purple top, I could do that. You can do anything. They have progressive lenses and they also have light responsive lenses. So basically when you go outside, they will start to tint. They have new exclusive collections every single month, free shipping directly to the US and Canada. The top frames allow you to switch your style starting at $25 and the sun tops and licensed partner collections start at $30. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. I've never seen a glass company do this. I think it's so convenient 
convenient and it allows you to change up your style effortlessly, quickly, and affordably. And you guys are doing an awesome sale. If you use the link in my description, you'll get 15% off your first order. My code is RachelVin15. You'll definitely want to try them. It's the coolest thing ever. Once again, get 15% off your first order. My code is RachelVin15. Thank you, Pear Eyewear, for working with me in today's video. How cool. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's supposed to be raining today, but I'm going to curl my hair anyway because I got to be cute. AJ went to pick up some Starbucks. There's a Starbucks right at the bottom of our hotel, which is really nice. I tried to get not Starbucks yesterday, and it just didn't hit the same. Like, none of these NYC coffee shops, oh gosh, have any flavors in their lattes. Like, I want Christmas flavors. And then I also want to get one of those New York bagels bagels actually with like egg and cheese and bacon and AJ really likes the Nova Nosh ones I do not like this camera. I don't like the way it makes me look. I have the Canon. I'm using the Canon G7X Oh my gosh, I saw a bunch of rats the other day. I thought that was just in the movies. No, that's a real thing The rats are gonna hate this announcement. City life is very interesting They just like leave the trash on the streets, but I guess like what else are you supposed to do, right? Like you have to Put the trash somewhere and then the trash people come and get it it's just crazy back already wait oh my god what let me see the name on that what rachel oh why is it pink there's sprinkles on it oh what did you order white mocha with sprinkles with sprinkles it comes with sprinkles it's the toasted white <laughs> mocha where were we oh this is so good what Shh, it's so good the walls in the hotel are really thin. I got a grande and I got three pumps instead of four pumps of the syrup. You I heard was, that? I was in the elevator. No, well, no, we were heading back. There was a guy in front of me entering the hotel. We both went into the uh, elevator and I noticed he was holding two. Uh, two Starbucks? Starbucks drinks. I was like, your wife sent you to get the drinks? He was like, yeah, you too? I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. We're going to try Joe's Pizza. Everybody's like talking about it. Come on. No, I want to go to Joe's. I was like, go to Joe's. I'm like, okay, we're going to go to Joe's because AJ likes the really big, thin New York slice, which is not what we had last night. So we'll go to Joe's. I'm kind of sick of pizza though. Okay, here's the before, after. Okay guys, today's outfit is this gray sweater with these pink pants from Newly, and then this green jacket also from Newly. This is Urban. I have this pink and green scarf, so I'm gonna be like pink and green today. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> you need a brush? We need to look up uh, the bagel place that we want to go to. Is it the Chelsea one? Guys, AJ thinks I'm stupid sometimes. We're walking to Chelsea Bagels and there's City Hall right there, baby. There's a beautiful park right there, too. Yeah. We uh, missed. You know what? This is City Hall. Yeah, okay. That's City Hall. We missed the fall leaves, but oh my gosh, there's like a yellow tree right there. Guys, we're from Florida, okay? Can I say something for the record? Yeah. New York City is much better than Miami. Then, than Miami? Yeah, Absolutely. like if you're looking at the city. I don't think I would want to live in like a deep city though. What I is it called? Dense? Well, dense urban? Right. You guys, my fingers are freezing. Let me look for a metro station. Is it this way? You asking me? We saw the Statue of Liberty from a distance. I didn't feel like riding the ferry, especially in the cold weather. We also walked by the bull, which was cool. After wandering around for a bit, we finally made it to Chelsea Bagel. They had so many unique cream cheese flavors. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese, and AJ got the Nova Nosh, which was amazing. Then we rode the subway to Central Park. AJ forced me to walk basically the entire Central Park, and it was raining, so I didn't get much footage, but it was so cool, and I loved seeing the park. Then we went to the Met, and we ended up having lunch here, which was super random, but we were just hungry and tired, and the Met was pretty cool. Then we walked all the way to the Rockefeller Center, and it was super busy and crowded, so we didn't get to hang out here much because it was just like standing room only. We we finally tried Joe's Pizza, which I absolutely loved, and we got a crate from this place next door, and it was decent. All right, y'all, we're back. Did you miss us? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that day was, hello? That was a pretty rough day. It was raining all day. My feet are wet. My feet are wet too. I didn't even realize. We don't have an umbrella. It was like a light drizzle all day, so we were freezing, and we were out from this morning until now at six o'clock. We're so tired. It got dark at four. 
Yeah. <laughs> we went to Joe's Pizza and nobody told me it was cash only. All you guys were saying, go to Joe's Pizza, go to Joe's Pizza. I liked it. AJ, again, thought it was mid, but he's never satisfied with any pizza. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. I like Domino's. I like, <laughs> I like Domino's thin crust. I like... Whatever. Blaze pizza. So we had to get cash from the ATM. We don't have our debit cards on us, only our credit cards. So AJ had a credit card that he was able to use. Yes. Are you okay? I'm a little agitated right now, okay? And we were just so cold the whole time. Um, but it was a good day. We saw a lot, as you guys saw. The Rockefeller Center was super crowded, like standing room only. You couldn't, I couldn't even see like most of the tree. 24,000 steps. 24,000 steps. Okay, AJ made me walk the entire length of Central Park in the rain. Okay, so we started at the top. We took the the... The one train all the way to the top of central park and then we walked all the way down to the met which is like halfway did the met for like two hours that's actually where we ate lunch which was super random we were just so tired and then we walked the second half of the central park down to the plaza i wanted to see the plaza hotel but they wouldn't let us in because it's like guests only so then we walked all the way to the rockefeller center saw it for like two seconds and then we took the train to joe's pizza and then we stopped for crepes at this random place next door hi how are you um i wanted to call for room service is room service from seraphina hello hello can you hear me okay can i do uh 412 and panela vodka and that's it Oh yeah, meatballs, panela vodka, white lotus baby. Good morning guys, happy Monday, our last full day here. Today I got a peppermint mocha, so good. I just kind of like recurled my hair a little bit because it kind of fell. I think I'm gonna wear this hat today just to kind of change it up and I'm wearing this just like black long sleeve from Zara. By the way, I've been wearing leggings under all of my pants except for yesterday because they wouldn't fit under like the pink pants. We have the 9-11 Memorial Museum at 11. It's about 10 right now. And then our plan is to go to Soho, walk around, shop. I wanna get some new sneakers, whether they're Nikes or Hoka's. I don't know if they sell Hoka's here, but I'm, I can look it up. I am loving the way that the New York weather is treating me in terms of like my hair. Like I don't even have to use dry shampoo here. Whereas in Florida, I would need to wear dry shampoo like every day multiple times a day otherwise my hair gets greasy but not in the cold weather and AJ was also telling me yesterday on the subway home he was like or the day before he was like he was saying that my makeup looked really fresh even after being on like all day versus in florida sometimes it can like slide off get a little bit oily but not here so that's really cool love that so for our last day we wanted to spend it shopping and i was looking for some new sneakers and i could not find any for the life of me we went to two foot lockers nike adidas and hokas and for some reason i just couldn't find a style that i liked we had lunch at this cute cafe i got a panini and aj got beef ragu then we stopped for some donuts at the donut pub and for dinner we had reservations at the gramercy tavern which is an amazing michelin star restaurant it's like a five course prefix tasting menu and it was absolutely amazing i highly recommend fine dining in new york it was just such a cool experience and this was definitely one of my favorite parts of our new york trip the next morning we boarded our flight back to fort lauderdale and that wraps up our three-day new york trip thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out pair eyewear to get 15 percent off your first order and i'll see you in my next video